an epic challenge, a wonderful cause and embraced by the whole football community. Club masseurs Alex Butler and Andy Smith have successfully completed their Pedal for Petrov bike ride, helping their close friend and colleague by raising awareness and vital funds for leukaemia and lymphoma research. The dedicated duo, joined on the trip by former England international Jeff Thomas, started their journey at Stillian's former home stadium, Glasgow Celtic Park. The current Celtic boss, Neil Lennon, wished them luck and set them on their way south. It was first stop Newcastle United as they popped in to see the Magpies manager Alan Pardew and his players Mike Williamson, Stephen Taylor and Shola Amiobi. It's a nice message really for, for any cancer sufferer in our city that uh, there is uh, uh, support there and uh, raising funds to try and improve the level of care and service that we can uh, to help these victims and people like Petrov and Jeff Thomas who, who I knew very well when he was going through his leukaemia uh, period. Uh, they're inspirational characters and uh, and it gives uh, it gives those who are battling who, are, who, are, who might not be as healthy as these fit guys uh, hope and spirit and um, so today it's just about underlying that fact and, um, and the football community coming together for, for a good cause. From the northeast to the northwest, Everton gave them a warm welcome, as did Ryan Giggs in Manchester. I mean, looking from the outside, you never know sort of what stage um, that he was at, and obviously we're, we're, we're glad to hear that he's in remission and and wish him the best, and hopefully with a full recovery. Chairman of Fundraising for Leukaemia and Lymphoma Research, Alistair Campbell then linked up with the group for the final leg of the journey from Manchester to Villa Park. Uh, it's been good, but it was hard, really hard. I mean, it was. Uh, I've been I've been in France for part of the summer, and I was cycling a lot. And uh, there was one hill we had in Cheshire. It was twenty five percent. That is like that. Um, and I came off once, but it was good. It was really good. And, you know, the lads, the two boys from Villa have done a fantastic job and uh, getting a really nice response on the road. People kind of, I think, were aware of what we were doing and uh, it's great. Very emotional to be fair and yeah. tired and, you know, the, the turnout's amazing. So, uh, it's it, especially at sh such a short notice, you know, it's. I think we came up with the idea to do the dinner about three weeks ago and the help we've had to, to arrange it and, and everything and people as you can see turning up to support Stan is uh, you know it's amazing. You've had a lot of support along the way haven't you a lot of yeah. football clubs have come out to help you how much has that meant? It meant everything it's meant everything because I, th I think it set you up for the day each day that we started at a club it set you up it kept you going because you knew you had their backing behind you as well Celtic were fantastic the gaffer there Neil Lennon couldn't do enough for us and he was he was unbelievable um, Kenny McMillan, who used to be with us as well, couldn't do enough for us. He, he, uh, he was everywhere chasing, stealing things that he probably shouldn't have. But uh, yeah, it's been brilliant. Newcastle as well. Alan Pardew got a couple of boys together and, and and made a fuss of us as well. So things like that mean everything, you know. Tired. <laughs> it's been tough. I think um, when the guys came to me saying that they're doing a challenge, um, can we go out for a bike ride? See how we get on. And I think the first bike ride we did about 25 miles. And I could tell already they're going to really struggle. But Smudge Shandy has, has done really well. He was fantastic. But the big fella, he was, you know, he was a bit slow, obviously, going up the hills. But he just, every climb, he, he, he got to the top and he was brilliant. Was, I was just, uh, I'm really chuffed out of, uh, you know, I was there to see it because... I think when they said they were going to do from Celtic down to Aston Villa, I thought, well, that's a long way, but I didn't know the route as well. It was some tough climbs as well, so the guys have done ever, ever so well. Leukaemia re and lymphoma research, the research has led to unbelievable progress. Uh, 50 years ago, if a child got leukaemia, it was a death sentence. There was no way out of that. 
now nine, ten, nine out of ten kids survive. So that's the sort of progress that we've made, and we've now got to do the same for adults. And uh, but hopefully Stan will be okay, and hopefully this sort of thing will, you know, mean something to him, and and, and sh you know, sh it shows how popular it is, shows that he's. I'm a great believer in getting good out of bad, and you know, he's 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 suffered something very very bad, and the. These guys have decided to do something good about it. It's great. Have you found much support from the general public as well as you've gone? I noticed a lot of tweets, a loads of messages. Has that really helped you as well? Yeah, definitely. You know, because I think you don't you know how much support's going off. You know, when you you sat on a bike for five, six hours at a day. Do you know what I mean? You you don't know uh, how far it's got out there. But uh, obviously, at the end of the day, we've we've seen the tweets and text messages and this and that, and it, it's amazing. And it just it just shows the love for Stan and you know the respect that people have for him and uh, and it's a great cause you know and people people have got behind it and you know we, we can't thank everyone enough. I think it's important that they're so close and they got on so well and they were able to kind of support each other along the way. Well, when you tell you how close they are, they like they know what uh, each other's thinking. They they just react off each other. You can see like they know when somebody's a little bit down or they're in a good mood. They just uh, they're like a married couple. <laughs> they are. They are. They're, but they're, they're like a married couple that like, really get on. <laughs> yeah, don't show that to the missus. <laughs> yeah, but no, they're, they're great lads. And um, they love Stylian Petrov's stand. You know, they, they, you can see that. And they love each other. And I think it's, it's meant a lot what they've done. And I'm just really, really chuffed that there were so many people to welcome them. When, you, when you're, uh, I mean, I'm 15 stone and it's hard. Cycling when you're 15 stone is hard. It's just too much, you know, but I'm big. I'm sort of big built and I do a lot of cycling. And for these guys, you know, a few months ago, they'd barely ridden a bike. And, you know, they've gone from Glasgow to here in a week. And, they've, you know, honestly, if you saw some of those hills today. In terms of the actual ride itself, what was the toughest? Day three. <laughs> Day three, personally, mentally, and physically. Uh, for me, it started off bad and got gradually worse. I, uh, I'd been ill for a couple of hours from five in the morning. I just had nothing in me. Got through till lunch, uh, but we we were faced with 50 mile an hour headwinds all day, and and it just saps your whole energy. Um, and my body shut down about 10 mile after lunch. So that was me in the back of a car for. a for the rest of the day. Smudge and, and Jeff battled on like true heroes um, until they were faced with Mount Everest. And uh, Smudger, king of the mountains, got to the top. <laughs> so uh, proud of him, he's an absolute hero. I couldn't, you know, it, I was welling up in the back of that, very warm. You've got to, keep, it, you've got to keep each other going as well, haven't you, throughout oh, it? Oh, massively, got... because my, my biggest thing is obviously I'm not an athlete, as you can probably tell. And um, the great thing about having Jeff and, and Smudge with me is Jeff leading the way, telling us what to do. But then, for the majority of the ride, I've got Smudge behind me, telling me to keep going and dig in. Uh, and that meant everything to me personally. Like, and you know, he's, he's a true friend. Do you ever want to see a bike again? Yeah, I'll probably be on it tomorrow because I got no way of getting to Bodymore and pick my car up. <laughs> I'm sure someone's going to give you a lift. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only way I can I get there. Yeah. I haven't I got a clue. Didn't think about that, uh, did we? Like, do you know what I mean? piggy bank get oh, I think so. I've got to cycle back up north. So. <laughs> I don't know. We'll think about that later, anyway. Yeah, it just shows like how uh, how loved Stan is. Like the two masseurs, Big Al and Smudge, have been unbelievable in the past couple of days. The things they they done for him was unbelievable, and it just shows you how close the club is together as a as a as a unit. Like, and even previous players like Gareth Barry, mm. Freddie Boomer. And Ashley Young and stuff like that, Nigel all, all came to the dinner and not mm. all like it just shows you how close the club is and has been through the years. And um, I'm sure when Stan gets better, he'll see videos and pictures of that night and hopefully that'll that will put a boost on him. Have you spoken to Stan or have you had text messages from him along the way as he's been yeah, following your program? Yeah, we've spoken to him a couple of times during the week. Um, he's always making sure, you know, checking up how we're doing, where we are at lunch, you know. And he, I think he was quite surprised how quick we were going a couple of days. Um, so yeah, I spoke to him, he was in good spirits. Um, ironically, we, we had a five mile point out just before we came in here and I, I texted him then and he asked where we were and I says we were 15 minutes away and he says, well, I'm 15 minutes from finishing my next, my latest batch of chemo. So the timing couldn't have worked out perfectly really. The fact that 
it, it's sad that he can't be here with us tonight, but we know he's going the right way and uh, it, I know he's here in spirit. I think football sometimes undervalues itself. And I think, um, yeah, it does. It's got the big opportunity to, especially when uh, people have, have got something really worthwhile shouting about and uh, getting behind certain charities that, you know, we've seen it at Aston Villa with Acorns. You know, it's a really worthy cause and, you know, it's vital support that they give such a tremendous cause. Oh, I could tell you. Anywhere. Anywhere. In the bin, you don't want to see him again. In the bin, I never want to see him again. <laughs>